Okay, so here is another application of the sum and product of the roots. Sometimes you will also be asked to find a quadratic equation from a given quadratic equation. Okay, so for example, let's say the equation of or the equation so the equation x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0 has roots alpha and beta okay so the question will be form a new equation whose roots are one over alpha and one over beta. So it's like the second equation is related to the first in a way that the roots of it are the reciprocal of the roots of the other equation. So if the roots of the first is alpha and beta, the second one has the roots 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. Now, there are, again, in a given problem, there are many ways that you can find this equation. So here, I'll give you a more direct or a formula base on how to find this new equation. Okay. So to find an equation, so how do we find this equation? How do we find the equation? So these are the things that I want you to note, okay? If we have the following roots, alpha and beta, alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a, and alpha times beta is equal to c over a, where a, b, and c are coming from ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Okay, at the same time, if alpha and beta are the roots, then the equation will take the form x minus alpha times x minus beta is equal to 0. Okay, remember this is how we find the roots we factor the given quadratic and when we end with x minus alpha and x minus beta we conclude that x is equal to alpha and x is equal to beta or the roots of the quadratic equation now what's the importance of this now coming from x minus alpha times x minus beta if you will be expanding this this will be x squared minus alpha x minus beta x and then plus alpha beta because negative alpha times negative beta is positive alpha beta so equal to zero and then you would see that you have x squared if I factor out the x and the negative sign you have alpha plus beta x and then plus alpha beta is equal to zero. This is basically how these two formulas were derived. Okay, but what I want you to, to look at is that the coefficient of x is always the sum of the roots. and the product of the roots 
is the constant value. Okay, so that means if we want to look for an equation, it will always, so the equation or an equation will always look like x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus the product so of the roots equal to 0 so it always take this form okay the equation is x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus the product of the roots so what is the connection of this to the problem that we are trying to solve so in the problem it says we want to find the equation x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0 or the equation has roots alpha and beta we want to form a new equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta okay so if the new equation has the following roots and we know this relationship then the equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta is basically x squared minus 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta x plus 1 over alpha times 1 over beta equal to 0. Okay, so again the equation is x squared minus the sum of 1 over alpha and 1 over beta and the product of 1 over alpha time and 1 over beta okay because they are the roots okay so if we will be able to simplify this if we will be able to simplify this then that means we will be able to find the equation okay so to proceed so we have this now so x squared minus the sum of 1 over alpha and 1 over beta is in simplest form is beta over alpha over a b okay you just need to combine this in a single fraction okay so work with lcd and then you get beta plus alpha over alpha times beta on the other hand the product will look like 1 over alpha beta and then so this will be equal to 0 okay 1 over alpha times 1 over beta is the same as 1 over alpha beta and then this is also the same ah we forgot the x so we put the x we have alpha plus beta we can always interchange the sum so and then x plus 1 over alpha beta is equal to 0. So we are very close in finding the equation that we need. So do not be intimidated with these symbols alpha plus beta, alpha beta. Because that basically, we, we know how to find these values. Okay, Remember, alpha plus beta is the sum of alpha and beta. And alpha beta is the product of alpha and beta, which are the roots of the other equation. And noting, so we have so we have this. Remember this idea. The alpha plus beta is negative b over a, and the alpha beta is c over a. Okay, so we will be able to use that. Okay, so going back to the main problem. So to find the equation, we need to know what is alpha plus beta over alpha beta and what is alpha beta. If we will be able to find this, all we have to do is to put these numbers here and we are done. Okay, so what is alpha plus beta then? 
Okay, the other equation is x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0 has the roots alpha and beta. So alpha plus beta over alpha beta is the sum of the roots of this. So which is negative b over a over c over a. Again, this is the sum of the roots. This is the product of the roots. And that is basically this idea. Okay, so supplying b, a, and c, we'll look at this equation. So negative b means negative of negative 5 over 1. And then over c over a is 2 over 1, which is equal to positive 5 over 1 is positive 5. 2 over 1 is 2 or 5 over 2. No need to change it into a mixed number. Okay, so that's the number that we need to put here. That's 5 over 2. Okay, so what about alpha beta? We already found that from here, which is 2 over 1 or 2. So alpha times beta. So this alpha times beta is equal to 2 over 1, that's c over a, equals 2. And that number will go to this expression. Okay? So now, we can already write the equation, and that is, so we have x squared minus 5 over 2x and then plus 1 over alpha times beta which is 2 so 1 over 2 equal to 0 to further simplify just to have the equation without a fraction we can multiply both sides by 2 so this is 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. Okay? So it seems like it was a long solution only because I explained it along the way but you know when you when you compute for or when you look for an equation the key idea is so is it lies on on this okay so this is the main idea the equation is always the x squared minus the sum of the roots plus the product of the roots equal to zero so okay so i hope you understand my explanation i'll make another one for this so a follow-up video now I'll be using the idea directly, so make sure when you watch that video, you first watch this because the ideas, the, the core idea is explained here, okay? So that's all for now.